Hey, Jerry Burrell here. Today we're going to unbox a pair of Spark R&D, Dyno HD split board bindings, and tech toes. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> So just got this package from Spark R&D and uh, as you can see in my surroundings it's pretty green and summery here but uh, I've got a split board mountaineering course up on Mount Baker this weekend and so I'm going to unpackage these things, I'm going to mount them on my board and we're going to get out and ride them and actually it'll be during the summer solstice so it'll be the longest day of the year riding these things for the first time so pretty stoked. And uh, let's open this thing up. Nice, got a couple hats right off the top. Spark R&D kind of touring hat. It's got some trucker hat, little mesh on top. That'll be nice to go uphill in and a little logoed beanie. Stay warm for the downhill. Oh. Got the um, heel risers. So just put those on underneath the heel to boot and uh, they go up or down depending on how steep the terrain is. And these are adjustable for um, the plastic hard boot, depending on your sole length. So that's kind of required. And then the pucks, these are uh, canned pucks. So a little bit different than the soft boot binding. And this just rolls the boot so it's a little more comfortable um, once you're strapped in on the downhill side. So those are definitely necessary too. Stuff. And this must be the, the Dyno HD, the downhill binding. Nice. Yep. All black, black locking lever. Sweet. I like the all black, super, super stealth looking. That'll look rad on the, the Weston Backwoods Carbon. Spark Multi-Tool, they have these in all their bindings. Um, nice and small, fits in your pocket, fits all their uh, bolt sizes, so that's a nice little multi-tool. The other binding, little piece of sandpaper, so fine-tuning how tight the pucks slide on. The little, <laughs> the little spark sticker didn't survive. <laughs> that's all right, got a bunch of those already and some instructions, but we'll just throw those away. <laughs> for any of you guys that are curious how these work, at least for this, I'll hopefully do another video that will we'll mount these things and publish that. But today, for you guys that haven't seen a, a hard boot binding, the way these work is these are your locking levers that um, once they slide on to the pucks, they lock into place. And then with your, your boot, the heel bail, goes onto the heel to boot, and then the locking lever comes over the toe and just flips over the top. This um, screw here adjusts um, for different shapes and sizes of boots, so that'll need to be adjusted. And kind of right out of the box, it actually has a pretty snug fit as it is, but we'll do some fine tuning. Um, and then the other one, same thing, just kind of locks on the heel and toe welt across here. And then, like I mentioned, the canted pucks, the difference between these and the other pucks is when you're in downhill mode, they, I'll exaggerate a little bit, but they tilt your boots in just a little bit. Remember the grocery stores in Japan? Tonight, tonight, la da 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 da. <laughs> uh, so we'll unbox the Spark Tech Toe. And so, as far as I understand, um, Spark was the first company to come out with a split board specific um, tech toe. And so that's pretty awesome. Stoked to have these. Um, it really, really just streamlines the whole setup. So 
see what those look like. And uh, yeah, more of the black, black on blue. Um, those are just the toe pieces. So one of the big differences between these and what is a traditional um, tech toe for a ski is that these have a three hole pattern to match the split board. So whereas a ski tech toe will have different hole patterns that don't work with our split board. So that's what makes these really nice. No adapter plate needed. And they look really cool. That black and blue is just super rad. And then uh, some screws, mount them to the, to the board. This Stoke sticker made it and a little bit of instructions. So these are kind of locked out right now. And these um, little slots here where crampons can slide into. But you just push this lever down and watch these parts open up. Do that on this one. And so once they're mounted on our boards, we just line it up on our toes. Step in, pull this lever up to lock it, and then it just pivots right off the toe. Bam, clicked in, locked out, touring off the toe piece. Super nice, sick. I just wanna thank Spark again for sending out this awesome equipment. Really look forward to getting out on it uh, this weekend and I uh, look forward to a lot of years riding this stuff. Um, thanks again, see you guys out there. Remember to like and subscribe.